Welcome to Flow Design Architects, a company that works with you and for you. But that, that, that team there at that point too, even as the journey went, the team kept building and growing and seeing those resources. And you know, one of the things that I constantly hear, I think a little from, from this specific question is that you guys became vulnerable uh, and open to ideas because I know it takes takes your pride to take your pride out a little bit to pick someone's brain, even though they might be very experienced, you still need to humble yourself down and learn those different things so that way you can maybe take that in your own spin and then be able to apply it to your own business at that point. So thank you for sharing that. Uh, so now let's move it fast forward. Uh, fast forward a few years and now you guys are uh, have grown, there's revenue coming in, um, and now you guys might be at a point that you guys have grown to, to an extent that maybe capital is required now. If, if, if that was the case, what was what, what event might have happened there to say, hey, you know, we, need, we do need to acquire that capital, and then what did you do to get ready to acquire that capital? Yeah, so from those $2,000, <laughs> right, that, that we got and incorporated, um, and created a million shares, I don't know where we did that, I don't know what we're doing. Um, uh, I got into a car accident too, and that was a fortunate event because I got $11,000 from the car total, then I didn't need to drive it anyway. And I had two kids, by the way, Emily and uh, DJ and Emily were right there too. Stay there with me. You're being recorded. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's, it's great. No, I'm saying stay with me. It's, stay with me with that craziness. I mean, I, come on, it's a fighter. That's why we got three kids. So, um, but, but yeah, so that crash really helped. But we, me and Marcos, have always been very careful about about loans and things like that. It's like almost like arropate hasta donde te llega la sabana, right? Which is, it could be good and it could be bad, right? Because if you have a great idea that you put your life into and you're a thousand percent sure, and, and you just need that little cushion to to make it happen, well, you should probably try it and get you know give it a shot. So um, we didn't have to, you know we, we apply for a line of credit and we didn't have a lot of had a lot of revenue and it was like 10% of that little revenue. I mean, I think the first year we only made $50,000 throughout the whole year, right? Including the 11,000 from the crash and the 2,000 from, from that. So um, then the pandemic came and that was kind of like a, I think flow could have probably died if PPP loans weren't there. So that was the first loan that we really applied for. And if, if, if again, so March, we, we were like four people. We had just moved to our new office, like, you know, not, not long ago. And we were like, we pay rent. It's not just the basement, you know, um, it's scary. So I, it was the first time I even told one of the guys, you have midterms this week, right? You should probably take the week off and just focus on the midterms. They typically will come to me and ask me. I was like, because I knew we didn't have any hours. I knew we didn't have any work because you all, all froze and then April, May, when the PPP was like happening, I spoke with David Silverman, what, what, another architect friend of mine, and they were talking about that, and all the people were talking about it, and I was like, okay, what do I need? And created a little checklist, which is another, that's a big magic trick, that checklist. <laughs> so, um, and I was like, what do I need? So I connected with Eastern Bank at that time, and we went through the checklist of all the items. So having ADP was great. Having a great person that ran, that did your taxes for you, an accountant, was great and we can get more into the details of that but that was seamless and ever since then ever since that first kind of like legit application that we had to put together everywhere we go that we apply for something they say this has been one of the easiest transactions i've ever had to make because everything was out of our fingerprints or server or information or paperwork or ain number but again we, we've been very self-conscious of our process I mean, I can close my eyes right now and backtrack to when we first incorporated every major decision, every little decision within my office, every color, I know how it was picked. So if you're not aware of what's really going on, what the names, the Dudley and Bradley name, like people don't know what those things are, the EIN number, the first letter you get when you first incorporate, they don't know that. So we created a very beautiful and clean folder structure. Structure, absolutely. Yes. The organization, the ability for you to be ready to give that information out. Because that's one of the things that I encounter, and I know many of my banker colleagues encounter as well to the whole PPP scenario, that while our Latino or minority-owned businesses want to acquire those funds, they weren't ready. Why weren't they ready? Because they didn't have those pick that paperwork ready to go. So it's imperative for you to have that paperwork ready to go. Hopefully something like that never happens again, but when you are ready to apply for that loan. 
Well, if, if it isn't that long, I think having the structure of what you will be required anyway, and like what's next, like I was on top of my banker, like I became very close with them. It's like, what will be needed for the forgiveness? Like I want to, would you just apply for it? I want to be ready for that because that's what I'm going for, right? So I did the first round and the second round, and um, now this year we finally jumped into the American Express credit card. Those points are really juicy. So now we're fighting at the office, who is traveling where? Right, so it, and ironically, American Express gave us more money than the line of credit that we were gonna try to get with the last two years of revenue, which was kind of weird. Um, and we just, on Friday, we, you and I spoke, we just got our flow truck. We walked in there and walked out with a truck, like literally driving the truck. If I didn't have, they asked for a lot of stuff to register the car, to like, they asked for a lot, but it was all there. If you didn't have it, you, and I don't have two days to waste trying to get a truck. I only have that day, and if I don't walk out, I'm not getting a truck, period. So that's, that's important, you know, that's it. Thank you for watching.